Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Punishing Grey Raven reaction. This time around, we have another character song done by Halo Week. This one is called Moon. It's for the character Luna, which makes sense. And it's actually voiced by an actress, another one that I am very familiar with, Rie Kugamiya. She is basically the quintessential, like, Kudere voice of all time. She's been around forever doing her work and still has it, still doing shows, a lot of recent ones, a lot of ones in the past, and is absolutely killing it but i don't remember the last time i heard her sing so this might be a new experience compared to the last one whereas i've heard her sing before so without further ado let's hear what this song has shall we let's go it's kind of funny that i like literally just yesterday also listened to a halo week song so getting a lot of halo this time around Man, she sounds completely different when she sings. That's weird. You can still hear a little bit of her usual voice in there, but it might get a little more clear as the song gets further along. That was just a low range for her. This sounds more like her. Okay. <laughs> Loving the phrasing on these vocals. Very subtle transition to the chorus. Wasn't a big transition. I'm trying not to read too much into the fake ascension thing in the bottom corner. Because I feel like that's probably something related to the event this is from. But this song isn't quite giving me like that vibe, so I'm not sure yet. I'm kind of I'm feeling something different in this one the phrasing, how the vocals even are moving along. Love that chord. What a great transitional bit there. Just a shift of the root, just a little bit. Loving the panning of the vocals and the harmonies kind of echoing, but at slightly different vocal parts. That low synth is just scooping everything up as it goes along. For some reason, 
I was expecting something a little bit more up tempo than this. But the more I was listening to this, the more I was like, that doesn't fit the character, despite me not really knowing the character. The song gave me a lot of good insight just hearing how a theme for her sounded. All right, for a little bit of clarification, I did go and listen to the Chinese version as well that has the split between the Chinese and English lyrics. And I was listening to the difference between the vocal performances there because I expected it to be kind of similar given that they're the same song and kind of getting to the same goal, but they were actually approached extraordinarily differently. This one from the actress was approached as an actor and as the character, so there's definitely like a little bit of a different vocal performance in that where this one felt a little bit more like she was talking to you, whereas the other one was definitely more strictly vocal, which feels like it was trying to portray the emotion of the lyrics a little bit more. There's more pain and sorrow in that one. There's uh, more of an emotional toll there compared to this one that felt like she was recollecting on the events of the past. It was a little bit more of a narrative thing, but the other one was lacking that character performance while making the actual vocal performance much stronger. I think that the other version blends much better between the instrumental and the vocals, and this one didn't have that blend quite as much, but you can definitely tell there's a vocal difference between the two singers, so that makes sense. This one separated it a little bit, made it a little bit more punchy forward. They were like entirely different approaches to the same goal. It's like you can have somebody in a theater production playing a character and acting everything out, everything's on stage and the whole like stage is set, you know? And then there's somebody at a talent show performing it. That's kind of what the other version felt like, whereas the one that I just heard in full sounded a lot more like there was more of that character to it rather than trying to make every emotion really shine, which in its own way is perfectly valid and definitely beautiful. Like I said, that one actually I kind of prefer with the mix and everything. It just feels a little bit better. The range is better. But Rie was doing a performance of the character, not of the song. So that's something to keep in mind there. And definitely a pretty uncommon thing for me to come across on these videos. Usually Usually I don't deal with character voices singing their character songs, it's usually just some unrelated artist making a song for them. So having both to compare is really rare and I really enjoy that. And like I kind of mentioned earlier, this song has a lot of that loneliness in there that I didn't catch a bunch of in the first version, but the more performative one I did. So like this acting one, it feels like the character is kind of just set in her mindset. Like she's just kind of already there in this like very broken neutral state. Kind of exactly what I said at the beginning about Rie being a very good Kudere voice actress. That's kind of the energy I get, calm, cool, collected. You know, very much emotionless to, a, to an extent at least. There's definitely emotion, but there is always a catalyst for that. And there's always a reason that they are so neutral. And uh, the character is exactly that. So it definitely makes sense that they typecast Rie in this role for sure. But as I also mentioned earlier, the other version of it sounds much more like a reactive take to the song, like she's living in the now and responding to the situation at hand, rather than this version with Rie sounding a lot more like she's already broken and already just in this neutral mindset and just recollecting on what had happened in the past. I actually just mentioned this in the other video about Halo Week's music as well. It's just, Halo Week does a beautiful job at hitting that, like, longing. In music, that bittersweet feeling of not too sad, definitely not too happy, a little bit of hopefulness, just a smidge, just a sprinkle of hope in there, but not too much to feel overbearing or like hopelessly optimistic. You know, there's definitely a neutral ground here, and I think Halo Week really nails that which is very difficult to do for a lot of composers. There seems to be a skew in either too sad or too happy for a lot of people who hit this, and I have not seen Halo Week miss that mark ever. It's always so perfect for the character they write for, and this is definitely no different. Halo Week has a way with writing the piano parts to just support everything. There's this really just light 
slick to the way that they arpeggiate. It's just so soft and it adds a little bit of daintiness to the music instead of this heavy aggression. But then Halo Week matches the uh, light daintiness of the piano and those like longing, hopeful notes over here to this much more aggressive synthetic sound underneath everything. That bass kind of scooping, like I mentioned in the reaction, feels so powerful. Like there's uh, a, a central root to the character's drive and matching that to something as flighty as little piano flicks over here doing this like, she was a fairy, you know, like it's just very... <laughs> But getting those to work is exactly what I was meaning when I said the thing about Halo Week nailing that spot every time. You can have too much of one or the other, and every single time, that balance seems to be just perfectly locked in by Halo Week's work. And again, this is no different. Just another fantastic banger from Halo Week. Some brilliant, emotionally charged music. And I really think a lot of what I was going to say about this one, I actually did just cover in that other video. And I don't want to retread the exact same water I did pretty much yesterday. So if you want to hear me say more stuff about Halo Week's writing, I would suggest go to that one, just because I feel like I'd be copying a lot of the same points. But nonetheless, a beautiful piece, and I love that I was able to hear the different versions of this and be able to figure out the different approaches to the character in this way. But I'll digress there. So thank you all so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see the other one I do, I'll of course have a link on screen so you can go see it. If you have any other ideas for songs you want me to get to by all means drop them in the comments below i'm always picking out basically the most upvoted one from the prior video of the same subject and game so if you want one scene make sure it's down there and let people like it and i usually go for that one and otherwise if you just like this video and you want to follow me and support me to see more of those in the future you know how to do all that and i will see you in the next video <gasps> goodbye <laughs>